Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have y, and then this symbol here is less than. So it's an inequality. So we have y is less than 1 half x plus 3, and we want to graph the solution. Hmm, interesting. So we're talking about graphing, and some of you might be saying, well, you know, I was kind of thinking, is this reminds you of maybe like one, y equals 1 half x plus 3, and that might remind you of like that y equals mx plus b stuff, right? Where this is the slope, this is y-intercept, and you got to like graph lines like so. You know, if this reminds you of that, then in fact, you're thinking correctly, okay? We are indeed going to kind of think of this as a line, okay, like y equals mx plus b. And then we have to graph that, and then we have to do some additional things to represent the solution to a linear uh, to a linear inequality, okay? So uh, this is absolutely critical for those of you that are studying any kind of algebra. So algebra one, algebra two, college algebra, uh, introductory algebra, intermediate algebra, maybe even pre-algebra. There's so many different flavors of algebra. Algebra is an awesome topic, but you absolutely need to know how to do a problem like this. Now, if you think you can do this, you want to just pause the video and try you know, this as a little pop quiz, I think that would be a great uh, use of your time, okay? But I'm going to get into precisely exactly what you need to do to solve this type of problem. But uh, first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of Tablet Class Math. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. And I just want to tell you very quickly about my math help program. You can find the link to my math help program in the description of this video. But basically, I have 100 plus different math courses ranging from pre-algebra to pre-calculus and everything in between, I also have a ton of test prep courses. So if you're taking any exam that has math on it, so the examples would be like the GED, SAT, ACT, Accuplacer, Alex, ASVAB, a teacher certification, you kind of get the idea. A lot of people take exams for all different sort of reasons, and oftentimes these exams have math on them. If you homeschool, I have a great homeschool learning program, so that's something you might want to check out. Now, um, if you're a student and you're struggling with math, of course, my program can help you out. But what you need to be doing is you got to be taking awesome math notes. If you're not taking great math notes, you're doing yourself a major disservice. I've been teaching math for decades. Math success starts with fantastic math notes. So improve your notes and everything else is going to improve. In the meantime, you can use my notes to study from. I'm going to leave a link to my notes and my math help program all in the description of this video. Okay, so what do we need to do here? What is the process uh, to solve this? Well, let's go ahead and talk about that right now. Okay, so the first thing you're going to want to do is you're going to want to think of, okay, let's uh, write our problem down. Y is less than 1 half X plus 3, uh, less than 1 half X plus 3. All right, so here I'm going to give you the steps and then I'm going to uh, give you a chance to do this. All right, uh, then I'm actually going to, uh, you know, do the solution myself. All right, so the first thing is you want to think of this uh, inequality. Think of it temporarily as a, a line. Okay, so y equals 1 half x plus 3. Okay, so you're going to think of this temporarily as a line. And then you want to graph this, right, like graph this line. Now, if you don't know how to graph uh, lines, linear equations, then you're going to have a tough time with this you know, with inequality. So the first thing is make sure you know how to graph the line. Now, when you actually graph the line, okay, you're drawing some line on the xy plane, you got to keep this in mind. If it's, uh, if you're dealing with a less than or greater than situation, this is, happens to be less than, when you graph your line, make your line a dotted line, okay? Don't draw a solid line. If you're dealing with a less than equal to, greater than or equal to, then you draw a a uh, full solid line. I'll explain the reason why. This is very, very important. Okay, so in this particular problem, you're going to be drawing a dotted line. All right, so the next thing, the third thing is you're going to test the point zero, zero. Now, sometimes if your line is going through or the inequality is going through the origin zero, zero, you'll test another point. I'll do another example video. Matter of fact, I already, I'm sure I've done tons of example videos in my YouTube channel. Of course, I teach this completely in my, any one of my algebra courses. But um, this uh, particular line or uh, linear inequality here is not going through the origin. So we're going to test the point zero, zero. So what does that mean? I'm going to explain exactly here what this means. We're going to plug in zero, zero 
into our inequality and we're going to determine whether that's true or false all right and then uh, based upon that we're going to shade the solution region okay now uh, if you think you can do this then go ahead and do it right of course you'll have to have some basic you know, maybe some experience in uh, this, you know, this might be like a little bit of a review. It's not like a complete formal lesson, not like what I would do in my math help program, but hopefully it's enough guidance for you to kind of figure this out. Okay. All right. So let's just quickly review the steps and then I'm actually going to do this. So the first thing is you want to think of this inequality temporarily mentally as a line, and then we're going to go ahead and graph that line. Okay. So you need to know, you know, like Y equals MX plus B, et cetera, et cetera. Now, because this is a less than, when I do graph my line, it's going to be dotted. Then I'm going to test 0, 0, and I'm going to determine uh, the true or false side. Let's put that down there. Okay, and then I'm going to shade the solution region, which will be the true side. Okay, so you'll see how this all works in just one second. And now let's get into it. Okay, so here is our problem. All right, so step number one, we're going to graph this. Okay. So I'm going to be thinking about the line y equals 1 half x plus 3. So how do I do that? Well, I start here at the y-intercept 3. So I'm just sketching this out. It doesn't have to be a perfect graph. 1, 2, 3. There is 3. Okay. I put a point. That's one point. Now I'm going to use the slope. 1 half here. That's the rise over the run. Okay. This is like a, a directions to get to the second point. So how many points do we need to plot a line? Well, if I got one point, another point, I could draw the line. I only need two points. I already have one point. Now the slope is like a set of driving directions to get to that second point. Okay, the rise over the run means I'm going to go up one and then I'm going to run out two. Okay, so starting from this point here, three, I'm going to go up. That's four. All right, so I'm going up one, and then I'm going out to the right two. So one, uh, two would be like right there. Okay, I'm not even going to put the coordinates in uh, for this particular thing because then you know that's you know talking about lines. But just so you know, this is how I would graph this line. Now, remember, this is less than, so I'm going to use a dotted line. So I'm not going to draw a sada line like that. I'm going to make it a dotted line, and I'm going to sketch this. So hopefully. It comes out okay. I'm just freehanding here. Ba -da -ba -da -ba -da. Okay, you get the idea. There is our lovely uh, line. Okay, it's dotted because this right here is less than, not less than or equal to. And so far, we're looking pretty good. All right, now let's go to uh, the next step, and that is to test zero, zero. Well, the point zero, zero is located where? That's the origin. Here's zero, zero. And if you can see here, that point is located under the line. Okay, here's the line. You have above the line and under the line. Okay, so zero, zero is under the line. And what we're going to do is we're going to take our inequality, y is less than one half x plus three, and we're going to test zero, zero. So what does that mean? Well, zero, zero, okay, that represents an x, y point, right? on the graph. So we're going to let x equal 0. So in other words, I'm going to plug in a 0 there, and we're going to let y is equal to 0. I'm going to plug a 0 there, and I'm going to see what that tells me. Okay, so let's plug in 0 for y, and we're going to plug in 0 for x, and let's see, okay, that's going to give me 0 is less than 1 half times 0 is 0. So I have 0 is less than 3. This is what a uh, uh, the result was when I plugged in 0, 0 into my inequality here. Now, what we have to ask ourselves is, is the following. Is this true or false? Is 0 less than 3? Well, you know, uh, the last time I checked, 0 is in fact less than 3. That is a true statement. So this 0, 0, okay, uh, is true. Okay, and when you think about inequalities, the way it works is this. When you have these lines... One side is true, one side is false, okay? All we have to figure out is just where one, uh, you know, where the, if, this, if this is false, then this side by default is true, okay? So here, we have to test a point in the region. So the zero, zero is the easiest point. That's exactly what we're doing. This is true, so this whole side is true, and that represents the solution region. So we're going to 
basically shade this whole area and that is it okay now let's talk about a couple things here well, what does this mean it means that any point in this region okay will when we plug it into our inequality produce a true uh, statement okay that's what it means that's the uh, solution there's multiple uh, points that can do that matter of fact there's infinite points so that's why this is a region and we we do this not just one exact one and uh, only one point that would make this true any point up here would create a false situation. Now let's talk about the dotted line now. Okay, what does that mean? Well, any point that's on the line is not a solution. Okay, is not a solution. If this line was solid, any point that is on the line would be part of the solution as well. Okay. Now, if you knew all this and you got this all right, then I must reward you with an awesome happy face with a 1985 flat top haircut, okay? I don't really see that haircut around it much anymore, but that was an awesome haircut. Now, see, to me, I grew up in that age, and now my hair is kind of like, you know, not what it used to be, but I don't know. Maybe I could sport this uh, flat top. Anyways, great haircut. Nice job. A plus, 100%. Uh, good work. Now, if you didn't you know how to do this initially, but now you understand this or you feel like you can do this, well, then that's excellent as well. That's the whole idea of these videos is to help you out. And if you felt like you got a little bit of help, please consider smashing that like button a little bit. Here's the bottom line. If you don't know how to do this right now and if you're further along by watching this video, continue to learn this because you absolutely need to know how to do this in algebra. Okay. Now, if you're new to my YouTube channel, please consider uh, subscribing. If you like my teaching style, I have a ton of videos. I've been on YouTube for 10 plus years, have over a thousand plus math videos, basic to advanced mathematics. My goal is always to try to teach things in a clear and understandable way. Okay, I'm posting new content all the time, but my best math help will always be within my math help program. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.